SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. In fact, probably the most impressive thing about this brand and about this partnership that we have is that we've got promotional opportunities for you to take advantage of deflation. We're going to help you save money. So listen up. Wireless companies are allowed to raise prices due to inflation. They said yes. And then when I asked if raising prices technically violates those onerous to your contracts, they said, what the f are you talking about? You insane Hollywood ass. Do you know how big their legal department is face? I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. So go ahead and use our partner link. It's in the description. We welcome you to the movement. Activate a SIM. You could do eSIM, physical SIM. They'll ship you one. Folks, take advantage of this opportunity. You can't beat this price. The legendary customer care. The partner link in the description will help you unlock those savings. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. Link in the description. Use it. You'll save money and you'll be helping out the channel. Do this. Can we um can we just can we just keep the deal alive a little bit longer? We can? Woo! Let's keep it with cable. Let's keep it with cable. Alright, this next story. Comcast to raise prices for Xfinity. Dated December 6th. Reuters. Comcast raising prices for its Xfinity program. The media giant said on Wednesday, that's today at the time of this recording, as it looks to offset high programming costs. Xfinity provides video, broadband, and phone services. Bloomberg News early reported on the average. Subscribers will see a 3% increase in prices. All right, so let's, uh, let's quantify that. All right, home internet on average costs, I don't know, 60 to 80 bucks with big cable. Right, so internet only service going up by three bucks a month. TV going up three percent, home phone going up three percent. We're probably looking at a ten dollar increase across the board for people's bills. Ten to fifteen bucks. So if their current bill is like, I don't know, one hundred and fifty dollars, you know, you could expect to see maybe one sixty five. If you have all three services or something like that. Peers, Verizon Communications, and AT&T also raised prices earlier this year. Verizon raised prices on some of its wireless plans in August. They also raised the price of their home internet. AT&T has been messing around with price action as well. Comcast forecasted higher broadband losses after the number of customers unexpectedly declined in the third quarter amid tough competition overshadowing the strong performance of its streaming and parks business. All right, guys, so I want to elaborate on kind of what's happened here with Comcast. Folks, Comcast and just cable in general, they have to reinvest into their network. They are about to drop tens of billions of dollars into Doxus upgrades. And the cost of operations has increased. The cost of materials has increased. Power consumption has increased. Labor costs have increased. And they're about to invest all this money into their network. They're going to have to extend and push that cost onto the customer. So this is a 3% price increase. Put it on the board. Quote me on this. Comcast is raising pricing 3% now. They will do it again next year. And I don't even know if it's just going to be 3%. It might be more. The next price increase might be 5%. They might just be priming their customers and getting them used to this. And they can point to the other carriers and say the same thing. Hey, they raised prices. They're all raising prices. And the reason these companies are raising prices, folks, is because there's a lot of debt at these companies. They've been building all these projects. That cost gets passed on to the consumer. You know, I... I'm not saying I want people to pay more for service. I'm trying to present this from the angle of the business. I want you guys to understand how these businesses work. They're not going to sit there and eat up 
millions and billions of dollars of investment and not get a return. This is just part of that. Now, here's what I will say. If Comcast was to upgrade its network and offer you a better service and a better product, then no big deal to pay 3% more. Think about it like this. Let's say there's a fast food restaurant right next to where you work. And they they make some really good food, right? Over time, that food quality or, you know, whatever, starts to fade a little bit. And, you know, the crew there is getting lazy. The ingredients are getting a little bit cheaper, so they don't taste as good. Small little things over time, and it just builds and builds and builds over time. Before you know it, it's almost like unrecognizable. And in order for them to offer you better products and food they have to invest right so they have to start ordering those higher quality ingredients again they have to bring in better chefs better formulas and 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 you know ingredient lists and and techniques and equipment and talent and they're like hey you you guys want it better we're producing better but you got to pay for it i'm okay paying more if i'm getting something better i'm not okay just paying more to get the same or worse so if comcast decides raising costs is the ultimate thing that they have to do they need to ensure that they're going to improve their service their network should get more reliable their network should get bigger it should get faster it should get more modern there should be improvements across the board and they can charge because that's something i've learned as being in business you can charge more for stuff if your stuff is better than your competitors. But if your competitors offer a similar product at a cheaper price, customers are going there. That's the whole concept of competition. And it's not even like, it's not even like big cable doesn't know what they need to do. Like they're losing to fixed wireless access. I mean, even Comcast for what it's worth said that, you know, Fixed wireless access is nibbling at the bottom customer. They're nibbling at the cheap customer, unprofitable or the the low quality customer. I forget what they worded it as. I, for, I forget what it was. But like those customers pay their bills and now they're paying their bill to another competitor because you suck. <laughs> Pie on the face, man. And absolutely stubborn.